Hello again, Case Loki back with another video for the colony. So, in the prior video, we finally got our substrate and water miner set up. But, the problem with that is... The amount of carbonite it was mining wasn't optimum. Plus, we still have to get a logistics base up there. So, in this video, we're going to go ahead and build a logistics lander and get it landed on the planet. We're almost at the point where we'll start uh, building our orbital station. And for the orbital station, we're probably gonna build it in parts. So, new. What we wanna do first is we're gonna go ahead and make the core of our ship this. And we shouldn't have too much trouble with this. We can just do exactly what we did before. Put on the vacuum engines. And right there we already have a ton of uh, fuel and thrust. What we also will do, um, I don't remember if there's, whoa those are huge. Ooh, I'd like to do that, but they're too fucking big. Oh. Forgot to lock my screen so it doesn't go off. Yeah, those are way too large for my purposes. And those just look ridiculous. Mm. Okay, let's try something else. do something with that because I don't want to make this thing look unwieldy or anything like that but it all depends on what we have to do for it maybe those throw the small engines on yeah that should be good We'll make it look a little bit better by throwing uh, those on, and then we are going to want those on there, and just for good measure, we're also going to use something I never really use, this drill. There's no real difference between them, but it'd be nice to have that fifth drill on there. And for the landing legs, we're going to go ahead and throw them on the ex the external tanks. So, we now have that set up. We're going to go ahead and set uh, some of those on there. And then... That, but... Do we have anything that can cover that? I wouldn't mind making space plane with some of these parts, but I'm not really the best person to be making space planes. They always seem to go wrong for me. Okay, let's find... There should be a tank that should be able to go from this size to that size. I just gotta figure out which one it is. Not that one. Yeah, it's of that size. I don't know actually if I have one of that size. That kinda sucks. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just have to deal with it. Even though I don't really want to, but it is what it is. Go ahead and take those off and put reaction wheels on. So there is our lander. It is what's going to allow us to transfer all the resources we have on the planet to that uh, flying, uh, not flying, orbiting space uh, station, making this whole thing possible. 
Oh, wait a minute. I don't know if I'm going to be able to have that. Ah, uh, that sucks. I think that's the main reason I never use these uh, ventral drills. They just block off that area, causing me undo the rest, making it harder and harder to get into orbit. Throw that on there. Big impulse. There's another 1300. Throw that after I get the decoupler. And yeah, this time I think I'm going to go ahead and make that damn uh, sub assembly because I keep on talking about it and not doing it. I'm just going to go ahead and remove all of these. I forgot about those. Okay. So, we got our full ship minus the control fins. I forgot about those. So, these ones up here. And this is actually a lot heavier than my prior craft. That's a little bit surprising. Well, actually that's not really that surprising. This thing is bound to weigh a fair bit because it is carrying four small transport ships. So, sub-assemblies. We're going to go ahead and drop that in there. And twin bore boosters. So now every time we come back into here... Oh, I forgot to put the... Uh, cones on there. So I'll have to remake that. But every time we want to go ahead and get something into orbit, I can then just come into here and just grab it. No issue at all. Clicking would it just gives me this whole booster stage. Logistics. That's not how you spell logistics. Where is it? Logis. Okay, it just looks like a really frigged up word, and I'm just kind of stupid, I guess. But actually, I forgot one part of this. Okay. So with this, we're going to need to bring a Kerbal with us. Because without a Kerbal, we're not going to be able to connect our ships together. And what we want to do... No. Come on. Come on. There we go. Sorry about that little ding. So we have that now set up. It has not very much thrust. Okay, that should be fine actually. If not, we can get into a stable orbit and then go ahead and try and bring it back. Oh, and this time, I'm not forgetting those goddamn tools. Oh, that infuriated me last time. Bill Kerman, so C2... Yeah, I don't need in C1, that's Jebediah. There. Now we just need to open up C1 again. And give him some piping. So connector port, connector port, just four. Four should be good. And last thing we need is um yeah, we need supplies. So we're just gonna put two on it because thinking back on last time, we barely used any of the supplies we had. And so we have that, and now 
we're gonna go ahead and put those on there and thruster block. What is the difference between these? Plus Yeah, there's nothing between any of these. Except one's weighs more. I don't know what's going on with that, but whatever. They all have really low uh, efficiency. Like, I wish there was one that was really high efficient, but only one direction, but we'll go ahead and throw those on. We're not going to use those at all, unless we need to get back in armor, because I don't want to end up with that whole situation we had a little while ago, or in one of the prior videos, it was like, oh, you don't have enough ability to uh, leave this planet. You're kind of stuck. So let's double check all our stages. Yeah, we don't want that in there. And also, those are going to help us hop, hop off of this uh, ship. But actually, I do not want that stupid uh, thing to stay there. We're going to use this stack separator. No, this stack separator. Even though I could detach that, no problem. But just in case I can't, I want to be able to just leave it and have it just fall off. Sorry about the silence, just uh, double checking my phone on who messaged me. It's a bit of an important text, but no worries. So with this, as always, don't... It's best to stay inside the yellow circle of the prograde marker but still keep pushing it to the right. Time to slow down a bit because we don't want to get over 200 meters per second because doing so is a terrible waste of fuel, at least in the first tier of the atmosphere. so I'm going to have to thrust hard. The air resistance is pulling me back, it's going to cause me to, cause me to spin. As long as this first stage gets us up to... Oh, no. Gets us up to an orbit of 70k, we then can use the next stage to get us into a stable orbit, which I should have maybe about, as always, about 200 meters per second of a monkey. Let's get up to an 80. There we go. Not an 80, but we're at a good orbit. And then we can use the... Oh, 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 did I not include any batteries? I did not. Good thing I checked that. This thing was about to just run out of charge. We're just going to go ahead and go over to here. Pop these off again. They all got it. Decent. Something seems off about that. Uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and throw a little bit more fuel on this because something really seems off about those numbers. 
I don't know what it is, but something's unsettling about it. I don't want to end up getting there and then having the ship just end up saying screw it and not moving. Worst case scenario, I just gotta send a rescue ship. I don't know if I end up posting that video maybe as a blooper like I did in the past for kind of screw up videos. But I don't want to have to deal with that because it's kind of an annoying situation. I'm just going to mute my phone because I don't want to keep on going off while I'm recording. turned over too quickly. I could maybe save that, but it's not worth the hassle of trying to save it. We're just going to hold it at this slight angle. That new heating model they added in 1.5 kind of screwed up my normal method of getting into space where I'd use space uh, Y thrusters and put the first stage with four and that would get me into orbit or not into orbit it would get me into space and then I'd have like another really strong thruster or uh, SRB that would push me the last distance out of uh, the sphere of influence of Kerbin and put me into the orbit of uh, Kerbal was nice it made it a lot easier to do stuff no oh uh, did it again okay we're gonna try and save this I'm not gonna keep restarting the flight with every one of these this is getting infuriating I don't know why it's doing this I might have my center of mass higher than I'm used to I'm Sorry that I gotta keep restarting this. We're just gonna... I'm not even gonna touch anything. I'm gonna sit here and just let it fly straight up. Because sometimes that's the best course of action. should hopefully allow us to just fly straight up with no worries. I'm just going to tilt over a little bit to the right see if that helps getting us a little bit of an orbit that's not straight up and straight down because that makes it a little bit more difficult because you have so little time to uh, correct your orbit to a circle. Well, with just a little bit of tilt you can add a ton of extra room, even just of a couple of degrees. Right now I think I'm at like five degrees off uh, straight up. Now that I'm this high up, I don't have to worry too much about wind resistance causing this thing to flip back and forth like a spastic. So, just gonna roll over, and then once we get over to this point, we can just start thrusting. It's 
not the most efficient way to do this, but with the crafts that are less than aerodynamic, it's a good method. Method. Methods. <laughs> Don't even know what word that is. It will just help rectify that issue of friggin' not being able to handle that whole fly up. So we'll wait till we get to say 75 and we'll start. Whoa! Just start thrusting. We'll tilt it up a bit just so we can pull that probate up. So right now it, we're falling down back to earth. If I'm lucky, I might be able to drag it back up. Slowly but surely. You do see the periapsis uh, starting to tick up too, so that's a good sign. I only have a bit of time to pull this up. Come on. It's starting to inch towards me, which is a good thing. Because as soon as it, that gets past me, I'm in the relatively in the clear meaning I don't have to worry about falling back to earth most likely because this engine is pretty strong and I still have a bit of fuel left in it should be enough to get me to the point where I'm out of uh, suborbital tra trajectories And we're done. We're in orbit. So we have 404. Ah, oh, that's not a good sign for it. This 404 is a terrible thing to have. But we are now in a stable enough orbit to just go ahead and try and hit minimus. I want to get on a low orbit. Uh, yeah, that's probably the best orbit I'm going to get. I'll move towards the maneuver. And then go ahead and start thrusting towards it. Well, it's thrusting towards it once the orbit, uh, orbital point, or maneuver point comes about. Wait till it gets right over it, and we're just going to go ahead and speed up some time. We got some power coming in the most amount of power, but are none of my solar panels hitting the sun? I guess not. Kind of sucks, but I do have 4,000 charge, so I don't have to worry about me running out of charge. Included on that, my maneuver is not going to work out well because I forgot that this engine is going to be a lot freaking weaker. Okay, we're going to have to go ahead and redo this maneuver node.
we're gonna uh, shoot. We're gonna go here. Thrust out to here. Wait till we. Okay, so there's our encounter. It sucks, but we're gonna F5 just in case. And just start thrusting, because we might be able to hit it. If not, I can do a couple of adjustments during the flight and maybe hit it. And we'll still end up there with a 1200 Delta V. But, oh, the 1200 Delta V is all, also including the last stage, I think. I don't know. Stage 2 has that, and then the last stage isn't factor, factored into it, so... Oh, yeah, we might actually be good. I don't think it's factoring in the final, first stage, or the final stage, so it's not terrible. But, it might be a bit of an issue. It is what it is. Speed up time, so we're not sitting here waiting for this. Seventy, two sixty, two fifty. Because when we get to the minimus, we'll have four hundred left in uh, stage three, and four hundred left, about four hundred left. And that will give us enough, like 50 for altering our orbit when we get close to minimus, and then 350 left to get our orbit into the landing path we want. And then we can use that last 719 to get off the planet. Let's see, did we hit the planet? Just gotta wait to see if we can hit that orbit, because this is less than optimum. You just wanna... come on! There we go. We got it. It's horribly high off the planet, but it's what's needed. It's... this craft wasn't optimized the best way. I should have put a poodle engine instead of the vacuum engine on this last, or uh, third stage. But at least we're hitting uh, Minimus. How much supplies do we have left? We still have a fair bit of supplies left. So we don't got to worry about that. The Kerbals aren't going to go hungry. They might go stir crazy since we're doing a long maneuver up outside of the planet. Or outside of the orbit of Minimus. Why aren't you moving? There we go. I have to go to 10,000. Okay, so we're here. Now let's uh, focus view. We're going to go ahead and add maneuver. Oh, shoot. So we can get into there, but we're going to use a lot more Delta V than I expected. And we're have to, going to have to thrust for quite some time. And we're out of electric charge. What is the solar panels doing?
Okay, we're just gonna have to figure this out once we get into orbit, because that's not gonna work. Unless we get a bit of electric charge. No! Ah! Uh. So, this plate is screwed. And our Kerbals might be uh, also screwed. So, another mishap on my part. I'm going to have to go ahead and try and save these Kerbals, but that might end up being in the next video, because that kind of infuriated me, to be honest. Uh, I should have put normal fold-out solar panels with sun tracking ability. These solar panels are nice for uh, craft that will not have to be doing all these maneuvers. So there's a bit of electric charge. But yeah, that's uh, so infuriating. And it's going to come down and end up falling into Kerbin. So I'm going to have to rectify that right now and then I'll end the video here and probably between videos save that craft. So turn back on SAS. Turn on radio. That should save it. And there we go. That's out of danger now, so what we're most likely going to have to do is send up a new craft and get it to land on there. This is probably by far my biggest mishap out of all my videos. It's the first time I've run out of electric charge ever since I started, which, oh, it's so angry when that, I'm so angry when friggin' you run out of electric charge. It's such a easy renewable resource and you always forget about it because of so. I was like, oh no, I'll be fine. There's no reason I'd run out of electric charge. But, it happens. It sucks, but it happens. What I might do, actually, is... Yeah, I might put this in the next video, but I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set up a new uh, logistics base on the planet of Kerbin. Just temporary, something on the launch pad. Send up enough, uh, a refill of fuel on this, because that will fill up this tank and give it more than enough fuel to reorient, or redo this orbit. Hit Minimus, and then most likely I'll use the fuel from the land or the es escape pod to land this and then send another ship to save it or send a station to build a new ship for it but as soon as this uh, correction finishes I will go ahead and uh, I'm gonna end this video it's gotta get another orbit around Gonna hit back over here. Just want to bring it down to at least a hundred k orbit, and we're out of fuel in that stage, at least. Slow down, come on. Most likely that's also going to run out of fuel, probably around, oh no, we should have enough to get it down to maybe a 500. No, we're going to stop, no actually, yeah 500, should have known. So I'm going to end that video here, in the next video we're going to go ahead and save Bill and Jebediah, they have more than enough supplies for 
three more months actually because they've already been in space for 31 days so they should be fine we're in the orbit of Kerbin so to get into the uh, out into orbit of Kerbin maybe at most about half an hour of in-game time so next video we're gonna go ahead and save Jeb and Bill and make sure they either come back to the planet right away or they end up landing on Minimus stay there for a little bit and I'll send another ship to come and save them with enough crew capacity to hold them I I thank you for watching and I hope you have a good night bye